Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on copying data from Microsoft Word Content Controls to Excel. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet a table that I've constructed, and I want to transfer data from Microsoft Word Content Controls into the empty cells here in this survey variable. So B2 through B11 in these 10 cells. And I have a Microsoft Word document named Survey. I have that name over here in cell E1. So if I go to that Microsoft Word document, it looks like this. It just has this outline with 10 values here, 1 through 10. And I have a content control associated with each of these 10 items. I put these controls in from the developer tab on the ribbon and then under controls for this 1, 2, 3 and for 6 through 10 I use the rich text content control and for item 4 I use the date picker content control and then for item 5 down here I use the drop-down list content control. So to edit these controls, simply click on the control and click properties here, again in this developer tab. And you can see there's items that can be modified here for the rich text content control, this first one here. Down for the date, again there's adjustments can be made here from properties and the same thing from choose an item and this is as it was by default except I added here item 1, item 2, and item 3 and I did this by clicking the add button here to the right of this list box and typing in a display name now as you type in a display name the value is going to match for example if I wanted to add a fourth item named item 4. As I type that in the value is going to match however I could always change this. I can go back in set item 4 and just name this 4 and click OK and it's going to add this to the drop down box. I'm going to remove this now by clicking remove and click OK. Then I'll go in and populate these fields. So for the fields that just have the rich text content control I'm just going to enter an integer that matches the outline integer. So 1, 2, and 3. For the date, I'll just select a date here. Go to August 15th. Choose an item. I have three items loaded in here. Item 1, 2, and 3. I'll select item 3. And then here for this rich text content control, I'll have these integers match, so this will be 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So the survey is complete. All 10 of the items have a value associated with them. So I'm going to save this and then close it. And now I'm back here to Excel in this worksheet data. And I'm going to go to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11 and I have this empty code area here for sheet one. And this is going to use just one subroutine I'm to copy all these values over from the content controls, just one subroutine. And it's sub data from Word. Now in this subroutine, I'm going to be opening Word from Excel. So this is in Excel still this subroutine. It's in Excel and I'm going to be opening Word. So up in the Tools menu item and over at References, I want to make sure that I have the Microsoft Word object library checked off here. So starting out here I have three declarations. Declaring Word app as Word application wdoc as word document and r as integer. 
So I'm going to declare these three variables. Then moving to the next block, set word app equals create object word application. And notice that there's a dot in between word and application and that this is in quotes. Then for the next line of code, set wdoc equals word app dot documents dot open. And then I have this workbook dot path ampersand forward slash, this is in quotes, ampersand, and then the range that contains the name of the Word document. So in this case, range E1, which we go back to the worksheet that contains the word survey, the string survey. So moving back here, so this would be survey and then ampersand dot docx. And again, we have the quotation marks here. So you can have the Word document with any name you want as long as it's entered into range E1 and it's a name that Microsoft Office will accept. In the case of this code, that Word document needs to be in the same folder as this Excel workbook. And that's the case I have set up here. So the folder that contains this Excel workbook also contains the Word document survey.docx. Word app dot visible equals true. And then I'm going to set this integer r to 2. r equals 2. That's going to indicate the row. Next, I have this for next loop. So I have 4i equals 1 through 10, 1 to 10. And that's because I have the 10 items. And down here, next i. And this will this code here will run these 10 times from 1 to 10. Sheets data, that's the worksheet that I've been working from in this workbook, dot cells R2, which would be the row, and it'll start at 2, row 2, and column 2. So if we move back to that data worksheet, you can see that's B2, the first cell in the survey variable. So when this runs the first time, it's going to be cell 2, 2, then you have equals wdoc.contentcontrols and in parentheses here, i. So the first time this runs, that's going to be 1, dot range, dot text. Then r will iterate to the next integer, so r equals r plus 1. So each time it runs, it's, you're going to add 1 here to the row. So it's going to move from 1 through 10 here with i, and with r, it's going to move from 2 to 11. Then after this loop, we move down to wordapp.documents.close. I'll close that Word document, and then the Word application will quit, wordapp.quit. So let's see how this works. I'll move back to the worksheet and I'm going to use this blue rectangle here. I'm going to connect this blue rectangle by right clicking and going down to assign macro. And you can see here sheet one dot data from Word. That's the subroutine that I just pasted in to the code window. I'm going to click on that and click OK. So now this object is associated with that subroutine. So if I click on this object it's going to run that subroutine and it'll populate these cells with the data from the content controls. So I'll click here. It opens up Word, then takes the data and then closes Word. You have the data here. So we have one, two, three, the date that I put in, 815, item three, and then six through 10. So this matches the survey Word document. I hope you found this video on copying data from Microsoft Word content controls to be useful. Thanks for watching.